My next guest served in the Bush White House, ultimately becoming Deputy Director of Speech Writing. And he, too, has just written a tell-all book. Uh, his is, uh, I like it's terrific. It's called Speechless, Tales of a White House Survivor, uh, which, uh, you know, from what I've read, at least, I haven't finished the whole thing, seems frank and funny to me. But like McClellan, Matt Latimer is now getting beat up by other former presumably more loyal White House staffers. Uh, Mad, uh, I really did, I really did like it. Uh, I, 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 welcome to the show. Let me, I want to get right to one, one reason. I, I'll read this. Uh, as the economy nosedive, pundits on TV started asking why the president wasn't saying more and what he was going to do. To parentheses. The answers were, we had nothing to say and no one had any idea. You know, that's really shows the depth of the, of the Fear. I mean, this is one of the first books out since the Great Recession. Uh, but it, it's, it, it, you know, for all the jokes, this is a pretty somber, uh, uh, somber statement. Yeah, it, it is, Toronto. And I do want to correct one thing. You know, I uh, am not a Scott McClellan kind of book. It's not a nasty book. It's an honest book. And in fact, it's a book from the right, a conservative view of Washington. And, and my whole decade or more in, in the Capitol Hill and the Pentagon and the White House. And in fact, one of the people who blurbed this book is a guest on your show earlier, Ann Coulter, who likes it a lot. Well, well wait, wait, wait. Is Ann Coulter still here? Ann Coulter, is that true? Do you well, like yes, this book? I at, am. At sort of uh, making fun of George <laughs> W. Bush? I love Hi, it. It's hilarious. It is absolutely. Hello, Matt. It is nothing like Scott McClellan's book. Matt Latimer has one million times Scott McClellan's IQ and one million times his writing ability. And for anyone who has ever worked in Washington, it is completely true and completely hilarious. I mean, not just about Bush. And Bush wasn't a full conservative. And yeah, OK, Matt needles him on that. Um, he says great things about Rumsfeld and Cheney, by the way. Um, but just for the whole Washington experience. It is an hilarious well, well, the book. allegation, Matt, is that you're nice to Rumsfeld because you're helping him write his memoir. Well, anybody who knows, and Ann, I'm sure you know this, anybody who knows Donald Rumsfeld knows that nobody writes his book but Donald Rumsfeld. But it's true, I was asked to help him with a number of other people to put his memoirs together, and, and I've enjoyed it. I have a lot of respect for him and for Vice President Cheney as well. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say again, I like this book, but uh, Kirsten Parra, what are you, uh, what are you hearing about uh, Matt's critics? Well, I mean I, I mean, I don't know that much about it. And it seems to me t there's a lot of infighting among the conservatives about it. And I read the uh, article by his former boss in the Wall Street Journal claiming that he's exaggerating his access. But I think that that's usually par for the course when people don't like what they're hearing. And I think he's, he's reporting things um, that, frankly, sort of make a lot of people look bad. Um. Can I say something about that? Mm -hmm. Please, your book. Oh, yeah, I want, I'm going to make a little bit of news tonight, maybe. You know, um, Bill McGurn, and, who you've just referenced, and Dana Perino and Ed Gillespie, who I liked very much in the White House when I worked with them, have, you know, gone around and said things that weren't true about, about my book and about me and what I'm trying to do with this book and, and its message. And I'd love to have an opportunity on this show or any show they choose to kind of get together and discuss All this right. openly. All right. All three of them. Throwing down the gauntlet to Dana Perino. <laughs> You know, the former press secretary and Ed Gillespie, uh, Bush's chief of staff. Uh, Matt Latimer is saying, come on, Geraldo at large. Absolutely. We'll debate what's true and what's not. And he's got a powerful Absolutely. ally in uh, Ms. Ann Coulter yes. there. Wish you were Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, all right, so Speechless is the book, Tales of a White House of Robert Kirsten. Thank you, Judge thank you. Joe. Thank you. That's it for us. Oh, I'm going to have my knee replaced on Monday. Won't be here for a week. I'll see you then. Americans are always.